Hey friends, join me as I cook by memory at Miss Penny's Favorite Foods. Hi everybody, this is Miss Penny with another of Miss Penny's Favorite, uh, favorite Foods. This is going to be a really cool cookie. And stay tuned. These are the ingredients and we'll get started. Hi everybody. Okay, so here we go. We are making chocolate surprise cookies. And uh, I think you're going to like them. It's relatively easy, but there are a few steps. So we're going to get started. First of all, the standard cookie procedure is dry, it goes in dry, wet goes in wet. Okay, so we're going to combine the dry ingredients first. And the dry ingredients are two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a half a teaspoon of soda, baking soda, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and all those are in there. To that, we are adding one half cup of Dutch cocoa, which is the dark cocoa. But if you just have the regular cocoa, add that, that's fine. Half cup of Dutch cocoa. And it goes into the dry ingredients. And that's it on the dry ingredients. This is your flour, your cocoa, your baking powder, and your baking soda. Half a teaspoon of each, half a cup of cocoa, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, pinch of salt. And that's what you have in there. So you just blend it a little to combine it. That's that on that. Now we're going to combine our wet ingredients. And our wet ingredients are two cups of softened, two sticks of softened butter, which is one cup, two room temperature eggs, one cup of packed light brown sugar, and a half a cup of white sugar. So you're going to have a total of one and a half cup sugar, one cup of brown, half cup of white, and of course, good old McCormick vanilla. For that, a uh, teaspoon. All right. So we're going to mix this and th until it's fluffy. We're going to mix the butter, the eggs, and the vanilla and the sugar. We're going to mix it until it's fluffy, then we'll come back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, hold on. Okay, so we've got the wet ingredients mixed. I'm pointing the camera down so that you can see what I'm doing because that's the important part. Okay, so we have got the wet ingredients mixed. Looks like this. It's going to look like that. All right, now we're going to mix our dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. We're going to mix our dry mix, which is two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a half a cup of... Uh, Dutch cocoa, which is the dark cocoa. This is, a couple of people have asked me about the Dutch cocoa. This is what the Dutch cocoa looks like. There'll be a red bar in front that'll let you know that it's Dutch cocoa, which is a darker cocoa. So this is the one you want if you want a dark chocolate. All right. To this, we've got a 
half a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a pinch of salt. That's going in now. And we are going to blend it. Some cookie recipes calls for a liquid. This one does not. So your batter is going to be a little bit stiff because of the filling that we're putting in. So that's what we're doing. We're blending this. The sugars, the flours, the cocoa, the butter, the salt, the baking soda, the baking powder, all that is getting mixed up. So this is going to be a little stiffer because it has to hold, oops, get back in there. Because it has to hold the ingredients of the filling. So it only takes a minute. I suggest that you hand blend it. Um, just so that you don't work the dough too much. If you want to use your mixer, you can mix it to blend if you like. As you can see, it doesn't take that long to blend. So it's up to you. But to stay on the safe side, I would blend it by hand. And it's going to be thick. It's going to be thick. All right, so that's how it's going to look. That's how it's going to look. Okay. All right. On to the next step. Set that there. We'll get out our cookie sheet parchment paper, we're ready to go. So what we're going to do is let me, let's see, let's get out another piece of parchment paper. I think that would work. We're going to get a paper plate and a piece of parchment paper. We're going to add chopped walnuts. We're going to put them in the parchment paper, like so. Just spread them out, no big deal. And we're also going to add a tablespoon of sugar, just plain sugar. And just kind of mix them up with the nuts. And we're going to set them right here. Right on the side. Now our dry, our, our surprise ingredient is Rolos. Little chocolate covered caramels. That is our surprise ingredient. And I'm sure we all know what Rolos are, but if you don't, these are Rolos. These are Rolos. So that's what these are. Okay. So here we go. This is how you assemble your chocolate surprise. We'll set the Rolos here next to the nuts. All right. So you get out the old scooper. 
and you scoop out how many how many cookies you want. I've got my my big cookie sheet, so I can put ah uh, maybe fifteen. We'll see. I don't want to crowd them, so we may just do twelve. And this is something you can do with your kids. It's a great, fun project to do with them. I mean, anything involving putting candy and cookies, they're going to love. And you, you can do this with other things, but this one calls for Rolos. This is a caramel-filled chocolate fudge cookie. It's going to be a little crackling on top of it. It's going to kind of have some crackle at the top of it. I'll put that right there. Okay. So you take your hand, or actually you take like a finger. And I think it may be wise to dampen your finger. Yeah. That works. And we're going to just flatten them out a little. And they're going to spread a little bit more too. So And you don't want your you don't want your finger too moist because you're not trying to add moisture to the cookie. You really aren't. But you just want to dampen your finger so that your cookie can spread out without sticking to your fingers. That's all you're trying to do. All right, we're almost done. All right, so then you take a Rolo, and you put it right there, and you do that for all uh, 12 cookies. And another good point is to put, after you take the Rolos out, out of the, uh, the wrapper, put them in the fridge for at least 10 minutes, or longer, but at least 10 minutes, so that they firm up. Because they're going to melt in the cookie, of course. But it's easier to handle if they're a little bit cool. All right, so here we go. And we're going to cover our cookie. And as you can see, we're going to keep doing this. For every cookie. We're going to put this in a 375 uh, degree oven. I did this before and I really find if you have an oven that tends to be on the hot side, do 370, uh, 370. If you have an oven that's very accurate, you can do 375 for about 10 to 12 minutes. So I'm going to finish this up and I'm going to put them in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. I'll tell you exactly how long when they come out. And then I'll show you the next step. We're not done yet. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so all of the cookies have the surprise caramel Rolo in the middle, the surprise caramel. So now what we're doing is we're putting chopped walnuts on each cookie. 
and we're going to put them in the oven after that. But there's still another decadent step. If they're not rich enough, we're going to make them a little bit richer. So if you're going to go this far, you might as well go all the way, huh? I think so. We're going to do that last step. So I'm going to continue to put the walnuts on these cookies. And then we're going to put them in a 370 degree oven for 10 to 12 minutes. And then when we take them out, we're going to do the last step, the over the top step. All right, my chocolate lovers. This is for you. And I'll see you when the cookies come out. And we'll do the last step. All right. I'll be back. Okay, so you take the white chocolate that you've microwaved off in a in a freezer bag and you squeeze it all over your cookies. And you have got chocolate surprise cookies. White chocolate drizzle. We're going to open one up so that we can see what it looks like. Let's see. Ah, okay. It's got the caramel in the middle. Ah. And these are the chocolate Dutch chocolate surprise cookies. Mmm, very good, very good. Oh my gosh, you gotta try them. All right, everybody. That's going to, that's gonna do it for this particular recipe. They are Chocolate surprise cookies with caramel in the middle. Oh, now I can taste all the caramel. Now you, you gotta try them. They're delicious. If you love caramel, if you love chocolate, white chocolate, Dutch chocolate, caramel, nuts, all in the same cookie. You gotta try it. You gotta try it. <laughs> You got to try it. Okay. I'll see you next time. Love you. Be blessed. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Mm.